Good morning, good afternoon. Raquel Redmond from Brava Art Press. We are going to print today. I went for a walk and I found some leaves. And we are going to use these leaves to do some prints. This is the perfect time of the year down here to find things on the ground, especially leaves to print from. So I went for a walk this morning and I found some beautiful leaves like these. That's a beautiful shape. And if you turn it over like that, you can see that I have been using that leaf to print already. Uh, there's another leaf here that I found on my walk. And you can see all the lines and all the veins, beautiful textures, beautiful lines, and the beautiful shape of the leaf. And there's another one here that I found another beautiful leaf. So we are going to use these leaves to print. We are going to start printing now. Remember that we are printing leaves like this. And to print, we have some paint. And the paint that we are using today is Chroma 2 washable. It's our normal paint. We have been using Chroma 2 in all our projects, but it's exactly the same paint quality, very good quality, and it's washable. So um, it's, it's, that's a bonus. That means that it's even better. So we are going to start printing. So in order to show you how to print, we will bring the camera closer. Before we start printing, I'd like to show you the prints that I have done with the leaves already. Here we have a beautiful shape here and beautiful lines here, the beautiful lines of the leaf. We have another print here. I'll probably put less paint on this so uh, that all the little lines are coming through here, as you can see, the shape and the lines. And we have a different kind of leaf here. It's a long leaf with a long line in the middle and lots of little leaves coming from each side like that and goes down, beautiful leaf too. And here is another print that I did on card. So I thought that I might like to make a card, a greeting card from probably a friend or for grandmother or for mother or for father or for my teacher. The best setup to print is to have two trays. These are food trays. They come from a fish and chip shops. And we have the paint on one tray with the roller because that's the, we're going to use a foam roller to paint. Uh, there was a paintbrush here to mix this color. This color is um, a brown with a bit of extra uh, black, so it's darker. And this other tray has the leaf. But if you don't have these trays, you can use two lids of black plastic boxes like this, or simply you can put your leaves here on a piece of paper and print like that. So there are many, many, many possibilities. There's not just um, those trays at home or in the classroom. In the classroom, the trays are ideal, but at home you can do in any way. We're printing now, We're picking up the paint. The paint is always up here. It's better to put it up there so we can roll it out. This is called rolling out. By rolling the paint out like this, like that, several times until the roller got all the paint on and we are going then to apply the paint on the leaf, like that. Apply on the leaf here, like that, like that. We are not pressing, we are just very gently rolling the roller on the top of the leaf. And I just use my finger, just to keep it on place, to apply paint on this bit, which is the, um, the stem of the leaf. Now we are going to print. Here we have the leaf with the paint facing up to you here and gently place the leaf there and a piece of paper. This is just 
photocopy paper or Xerox paper. It's easy to find on the top like that and then print with your hand just by rubbing your hand very gently here applying a little press pressing down a little bit like this it doesn't matter if your print is not the best at the first time or the second time because printing involves practicing so we are just going to see what we get here you see you can sort of see the leaf shape coming through the paper here so lift the paper there is the leaf and gently pull the leaf off and there we are it's a beautiful print of this leaf i have another leaf here this is still not very brown uh, you can use uh, green leaves if, if you are in a place where you have summer or you can use brown leaves or yellow leaves if you are in around autumn or fall so this is a nice shape here that we will place on the tray i have added a bit of a um, black paint here because i like to change the color a little bit make it darker so i apply some black the roller, the roller is going up and down, up and down, up and down like this. And, oh, that's lovely. This leaf is, leaf is really interesting. See, it's getting everything there. So, let's print. I got this Xerox or photocopy paper in color. In, there are many colors, but I found some pink. So, I just put my pink paper on the top and apply some pressure as we did before to bring this other leaf like that oh, see what happens pick up your paper and there is a nice print of this leaf here but what about if you want to print another leaf on the side let's see what happens now I've got my leaf ready and I just got a little bit of um, cloth here, a rag, to just make sure that that area is nice and dry. And I'll put the leaf there and the paper will go mm, probably there. So you just put the paper and experimenting is very important in printmaking. Rubbing, 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 and then lift up, and we have two leaves. Are they beautiful? I got here another, a, a different thing, because we can use many different things to print. This came from a popo or a papaya fruit from the uh, supermarket. So I'll use this to see what happens. So roll up the ink, roll it out that way and this way and apply there hold it hold it with your hand behind here hold that hold that and there and a bit here you will have a bit of you will have a bit of paint on your fingers so clean your fingers like this put that away Bring it over here to this is our printing area and we will print this to see what happens. Again rubbing, holding, holding down here, rubbing like this with your flat hand, like that. And see what what we got here. Ooh, that is lovely. Lots of lines. So this is our printing project using leaves. Uh, you can cut out the leaf if you like, if you, if you have scissors, and make a collage. A collage of different leaves will be really lovely. So uh, by using this paint, we, we are able to uh, have a good print and have a beautiful uh, fine lines, very fine lines here. And these are the lines and the overall shape of the um, leaf here. And the same here, beautiful shapes, beautiful picked up all the... Um, textures and the lines so uh, paint is important 
good quality paint is important in printmaking.